Your spag this week has been split into three sections. The first section says, write out these sentences in your best handwriting and add the correct punctuation. The first one, training is tough, Moan Jerry, but I will keep trying my best. Now to me, because I've read Moan Jerry, I know that someone must be speaking, which means I need to add speech marks somewhere in my sentence. Um, so you need to think about what is being said and what isn't being said in that sentence and put your speech marks around that and also follow the other rules of speech that we've been learning this year. Number two says, the 100 meter sprint, which is run on a track, is Mia's favorite event. Now, little clue in that one because my voice naturally paused at certain stages in that sentence. So you need to figure out what needs to go in the sentence where there is a pause. Number three, Jack needs to remember to bring shoes, water, a hat, and sun cream. Now, again, my voice naturally paused there, so think what needs to go in the, in the gaps where I paused. And also, this end of the sentence, to me, looks like a list. What do we need to include when we write a list? The second section says, can you complete the sentences using these conjunctions? Now, you need to read the sentences and think about what the conjunction is asking you to include when you add uh, detail to this sentence um, and make sure you're using your um, uh, your answers are um, correct and appropriate for the conjunction. Now the last one says, can you change these sentences into the present perfect tense? Now present perfect tense is something we've done this year um, but you may be unfamiliar because some of the tenses are a little bit hard to get your head around so what I've done is I've given you an example here. So I've written a very very basic sentence it says Matt runs very fast. Now obviously this is in um, present tense, um, so what we need to do is we need to change it into perfect present. Now what I've done is I've left two gaps here. Now here's your clue for present perfect tense. This word here is always going to be has. You're always going to have the word has in present perfect tense. Um, now we just need to think about what we're going to do to the verb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the verb in. Our verb is runs and we're gonna read it loud. It says, Matt has runs very fast. Now, you need to think, does that make sense? When I read that out loud, it didn't sound like it made sense. I don't think that's the right verb. So we need to change its tense. What is the past tense of run? It is ran, so I'm gonna put in ran. Matt has ran very fast. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Now, this is our present perfect tense. So you need to use what we've talked about there and apply it to these four sentences here.